Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that is Shalpa. So in today's video we are going to discuss about what are part time jobs, what kind of jobs are available, how much salary you can get, what are the taxes you need to pay on the and also the scenario about cash in hand jobs. I have already made a video on part time jobs earlier but still many of you had some doubts. I am not saying that this video will clear all the doubts entirely but it will definitely help you in some of, some of the other way. So for those who already have some knowledge about the part-time job culture but are unsure that the part-time job can satisfy their monthly needs want to know how much amount of loan they can repay through the part-time jobs. So for this kind of queries you can definitely watch the previous video where I have covered some of the points related to this topic. As of now every one of you must be knowing that whenever you come to UK as a student on a student visa you are still allowed to work. But there are some restrictions on your visa, so you cannot take a full-time job, but instead you can do a part-time job. Now the part-time jobs are nothing but some casual jobs which comes with some restriction of working hours, which is usually 20 hours per week. So the thing is, on a student visa, you can work 20 hours per week, but cannot work more than that. If you work more than 20 hours a week, definitely there is going to be issue when you are going to apply for the PSW. And the worst part, if you get caught on working more hours than allowed, you can your visa can be rejected and you can be deported as well. So there are many types of part-time jobs like temporary contract, fixed contract, zero-hour contract, etc. Temporary jobs, temporary part-time jobs are nothing but they offer you a position which is temporary and not fixed, or you are not a permanent employee. Casual contract jobs are nothing but the employer gives you a contract of a period of time, maybe 6 months or 12 months, which can be extended later. Then there is fixed contract jobs where the employer gives you a employment or the job for a fixed period of time, like 6 months or 12 months and it cannot be extended further. Also there is a term called zero hour contract, wherein the employer offers you a job position, but it is not mandatory or compulsory to do the job. Like the employer will send you a rota or the shifts that are available for the next week or next month and it's up to you like how many hours you want to do on which day you want to work. These kind of jobs are mostly with the hospitality sector like waiting staff, waiters, waitresses, bartenders etc. Now you may be having a doubt that what if I work more than 20 hours a week? How the immigration or how the government will know that? Well it's a simple logic. Whenever you come to UK, you will get a BRP, that is Biometric Resident Permit, just like our Aadhaar card. And with the BRP, you need to register with the NI, that is National Insurance, and you will get a NI number, that is National Insurance number. And whenever you are applying for the job or whenever employer is giving you a job, he will ask for your passport, BRP and the NI number. And your UK bank details will be also connected to the BRP and NI. So whenever the employer is going to pay you, the pay may be weekly, the pay may be monthly, depending upon how the employer had decided to pay you. So the employer will notify the HMRC department, that is Home Ministry of Revenue and Customs, that I have employed this individual with this BRP number and your NI number. So whenever the employer is going to send you the salary into the bank account, the tax is automatically going to deduct from your account. So now you may ask that being a student and doing a part-time job, do I still need to pay the tax? The answer is yes. Even if you are on a student visa and doing just part-time jobs, you still need to pay the tax. And the tax is generally the basic rate, that is 20%. Now coming towards the most interesting part, that is cash in hand jobs. So most of you must have heard about or at least read about the cash in hand jobs somewhere. So cash in hand jobs is nothing but a mode of getting your salary. So your salary can be directly credited to the bank or can be given you in hand as a cash. So again in cash in hand jobs there are two types, legal and illegal. Legal is nothing but you are registered to the HMRC as usual and you are just getting your salary as in the form of cash. But illegal cash in hand jobs are you have not registered with the HMRC and you have not notified the government or the immigration that, that you are working and you are getting a salary. So is it legal? The answer is no. Doing cash in hand jobs and not informing HMRC or the immigration is totally illegal. So is there any availability of this illegal cash in hand jobs? Yes, somewhere there might be, but you shouldn't go looking for it. Firstly, if you get caught, it's going to cost you everything. 
and secondly it is not easily possible to get a cash in hand job because doing a cash in hand is not illegal to only the students but it is also illegal for the employee so even if an employer has a cash in hand job to offer he is not going to give it to anyone randomly unless you are in a good connection with him or he knows you very well so that's it for today if you still have any doubts or queries please comment below or connect me on instagram and linkedin and i'll surely get back to you till then bye bye take care